Hello, this is Neil Fontaine and another acrylic painting for you with some tips. This is done on a 8 by 16 piece of canvas, ready to roll up and ship. Uh, these, are, these are great because it's a high quality professional canvas, yet it's, um, it's not on anything, so it's really easy to frame. It's really hard to find canvas board that is of high quality canvas, so this, and this also paints really, really well. I just paint with it on top of like the cardboard and then you know it's just canvas ready to roll up so it's awesome. Uh, Fredericks makes a really really good uh, canvas. Uh, I like their medium tooth. Their smooth tooth is really good too for like portraits and stuff. So the first thing I do is I use uh, ultramarine blue and white to lay down the sky color and I vary that with just a little bit of phthalo blue to add this little more turquoisey type of look to the sky color. This looks really pretty and I'm using titanium white for the clouds. And you can also use like sponge, um, it's really nice for making clouds, but I'm just using a filbert, I believe it's a filbert, or maybe that was a round, um, very uh, stiff brush. I believe it was, I believe it's natural hair, like a hog bristle or something. I mean, very, very stiff, like what, you, like what you normally use for oil painting. And then what I do is I lay down a lot of color here. Now what I should have done is I should have added my golden uh, medium, my, uh, what's it called, the glazing medium which basically also acts as a retarder kind of slows the paint drying time down because this almost dried instantly so or I should have sprayed it with water like right after it but I didn't and then I, I end up spraying it with water and then I'm using a mix between paper towel like I crumple up the paper towel and make little, little shapes with it especially the edge and corners and I just kind of hit the uh, just dab it here and there and that creates this kind of cool texture and then you can dab it right on the paint itself and just kind of mix it around and it kind of adds this interesting texture. It's also really good to, you know, for like abstract trees and things like that. So I wanted some sort of like just interesting look to to start basing this off of. And I have an idea like because as I meditate, as I'm painting, I can usually see like a, a vision of something where I can feel something and it just comes out of me. And so I, did, I had no idea what this was going to be prior to starting except for the fact that I was going to have my cool abstract lovers that I came up with. Uh, other than that, I didn't know what, what the end result was going to be at all. I just kind of feel it out as I'm going. And I started to feel all these interesting abstract shapes within you know, what that little thing I've created. So it's kind of a cool thing if you have a good imagination that sees a lot of stuff in clouds or, you know, in marble. Um, you know, anything that has like patterns and you can start seeing stuff in it. Using this technique is really cool. So you lay down a, a base color and they let that dry or blow dry it. And then you go over that color with a darker color or a lighter color. It depends. You can do, you know, dark first and light over that, or light first and dark over that. You want to make sure you can see the color underneath. That's the point. And then after that, then I'm using uh, that was charcoal pencil, by the way, colored colored charcoal. Uh, you can also use chalk. It's really good because it wipes away very easily. So after the acrylic's dry, you can just wipe. If there's any left, you can just wipe it off with water. It's really cool. And uh, it's easy to paint over. Just make sure you don't get high pigment, high pigmented chalk. Get like really cheap chalk or, or charcoal because otherwise the pigment will get into your paint. Uh, that brush right there is actually a Japanese Kiritake brush. It's a liner brush. It's about $16 after shipping, I think maybe a little bit more. Really, really nice brush. I think it's their number six. It's made for doing like uh, line work for comics and stuff like that. But uh, it works really great for oils and acrylics and watercolor. Just gotta thin the paint down. And I just thinned it down with a little bit of the um, glazing medium, so Golden's glazing medium, which also acts like a retarder. That just slows the drying time, drying time down. It also thins your paints, makes it smooth, and then just a little bit of like a damp brush. And so here I'm just continuing to fill out those shapes in there. So it, it's a really nice technique because you end up with all these interesting shapes and try different stuff. Use a, what, I feel what they're called, one of those little fluffy things you shower with. You can use one of those, like an old one, and uh, that and smash that against it. Different kinds of cloth, um, like cloth with a lot of like more holes in it and stuff you can buy these different kinds of cloth at uh, a fabric store and just look for different stuff the sponges um, you know you can like I said you can take the uh, end of a paper towel and crumple it up plastic all kinds of stuff and just start smashing make sure the, the paint's wet though on top of dry paint and uh, really smash it so you can really pull off the paint so you can see the undercolor and this makes all kinds of interesting shapes that after it dries you can paint and start seeing stuff within it, uh, cool abstract shapes and everything. 
to get the perfect circles I used different size round things I, one of them was the cap of my paint tube another one was uh, I don't know a lid to something else basically lids lids round lids act really good for this kind of thing you can also go to a craft store and buy different shape round type stuff tubes and stuff to use and yeah so maybe something with like a little bit of a spongy tip might work really good oh, that's a good idea actually for abstract abstract artists uh, like little like round lid type things with spongy ends on it so that's it so this is called first time off world and uh, yeah so hopefully uh, you can check out the you can check out the actual painting in the description below so check that out it's at sachiart.com and uh, then slash no fontaine but the link is in the description you can check out my other artwork as well uh, this one actually um, I, I decided to start putting you know making smaller paintings that are affordable you know for under $200 I think this one comes 136 because people are asking me like hey do you have anything else that's more affordable and so I thought I'd make some paintings that are more affordable and uh, yeah so a little bit of everything for everyone and uh, yeah so if you like this video please go ahead and like and subscribe also let me know in the comments would you prefer would you prefer me to continue doing little commentary over the videos or would you rather it be uh, just music because I can do just music and no voiceover uh, for time-lapse and then um, do you guys want to see more real-time videos I can do more real-time videos as well and um, I could do even just commentary of this in real time but it's this is this was about uh, I, don't know, I think an hour and 30 minutes or so over for you know so that's kind of a long video but I can always you know do real time on certain parts and cut out certain things that aren't necessary to see but yeah thank you for watching if you like this go ahead and like and subscribe and when you subscribe make sure to hit that little bell notification otherwise you won't get notified and also if you really want to make sure you stay up to date with what I'm doing and also you want to share your artwork with us then go ahead and join the Facebook group the link will be in the description and also it's uh it's your abstract gallery uh, your abstract painting gallery, something like that. Anyway, the um, the Facebook will also be in the first, a pinned, a pinned comment. Sorry, <laughs> there you go, a pinned comment, uh, right there, and then in the comment section. So yeah, go check that out, join it, and uh, share your abstract art with us. If you want feedback of any type, let me know. And when you post it, just say hey, I would like feedback for whatever kind of feedback you'd want, and I can uh, see if I can help out. All right, thank you for watching again.